All right, let's go to Joy. Springfield, Virginia is where she's calling from. Hi, Joy. How are you today? And uh, how can we hi. help? Hi. So, hi. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not doing, well, I'm doing okay. But the reason that I'm calling is because when I was driving home from work, I, I heard, you know, your callers and I, and I, I've been struggling for the last five months. I've um, separated from my husband of 40 years um, in April. Why? We have gone through, um, so I have gone through every kind of, I've tried everything, everything to make our marriage work. My number one thing when I married him was I wanted to be with him until I died. That was the commitment I made before God to him and God. And I never wanted to stop. Well, my husband was abusive from the very beginning. He was mm. physically abusive in the very beginning for the first 14 years. It was that. And then I never called the police. So it, so when the police stepped in, he went to jail. Well, then the uh, physical abuse stopped, but then the mental, verbal, and everything else became a, a major play then. And then I've struggled in carrying my family. I have five kids. They're all grown. And I have 14 grandchildren. And, um, you know, I, I'm so grateful that God has brought me through. So my question, okay. Here's my question, is I want to recover in a way where I'm not still having the remnants of being with a man who has, who has pushed me down hmm. and feeling like I'm nothing and I'm trying hmm. to gain my confidence. I thank God I wanted to kill myself at times mm -hmm. but God always intervened and I and I never want to disappoint the Lord I want to please him I trust him I know he's going to bring me through he's already brought me through mm -hmm. I'm 58 mm -hmm. and I've, I've made it this far my children we're broken I mean my daughters won't talk to me my, mm -hmm. my three mm -hmm. sons they are close to me but they don't talk to their dad it's 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 just a horrible situation and okay, tell I me no contact. Tell me, okay tell me what's going on with the husband is he are you divorced are you together uh is he living with you is he said what is the situation so so over 40 years okay i've tried to leave him many times so three times i actually put in to divorce him but I never felt the peace to go through with the completed part of it. So I would get all the everything signed. I'd have everything ready to go. And then at the last minute, the judge just has to declare the divorce. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't show up. I couldn't. So anyway, so no, we are not divorced. What happened was in July of last year, 2021, my dad got sick. And my dad hasn't spoken to me for uh, 20 years, okay? So because I actually, because I married my husband, because I was with my husband, mm. he, he cut me off when I was a kid, actually. But I did speak to him a couple times in between. But anyway, long story short, he's sick. And so I told my husband, he, my dad, I'm from Hawaii, so I told my husband, I need, wait, I need to go home. I have to help take care of my dad. You know, my mom had passed away. His new wife left him. And he was home alone with okay. my so sister, who keep going. he was having so, issues with. So, so what's the situation so with there, you and your husband? My husband got, so when I was there, my husband got angry and felt that I needed to come home. And when I told him that I couldn't because my father has cancer and I have to take care of him, he totally went crazy and cut me off and said all kind of crazy things to me and then cut me off. And so that happened in August. And so from August 18th, I have never contacted him again. I cut him off. Everything where he's living, I found that place because I had left him prior to this time. I left him two years ago when I found out I had cancer. I knew I had to get out of there. And so I left him and then he came back into my life. And I had already had a house. I had a car, okay. mm. everything, and a job. And so he took over all of that or he tried to. So anyway, so now okay. I'm here in Virginia. Now I'm with my son. I've been here now for the last, since October, okay. and I am struggling in this whole 40-year 
mess. Okay. Well, Joy, I, I, have I you think... had any have you had any counseling or support happening in any during any time of this marriage? Yes. And that's okay. another thing. That's why I'm saying I've tried I, everything. I've tried it together with him. Well, I'm not myself. talking about that. I'm talking about your Even, own care. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you're, and yes. right now you're asking a question of how will I ever get over this? It's going to be one day at a time. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be with a, it's going to be with a therapist. It's going to be with a group. And it's literally going to take some time to organize your life again. It has been thrown up in there. Yes, it's getting through it. And there's also a whole host of things that probably happened before your husband. So I think you have a lifetime of work of things to sort through. But it's possible. And it's worth doing, Joy. You have survived so much. You can do this and find the joy in your life again. Okay. So when we come back, we're going to give you some things, some specific things that people do that turn the impossible uh, into the life that maybe they never thought was possible. We're back and uh, I'm going to finish here with Joy by Jill and Becky giving you some things and then we'll go to Charles right after that. But what is it, I mean, decades of this, what is it that she could do that has some kind of hope? You just keep going back and I'm not sure why. And when you tell me, I just don't have a piece about it. Um, sometimes, um, I, I mean, w- when we're just waiting for that feeling and like God to release us, sometimes we're ignoring all the other signs that he has given us. And I don't know anybody who, who moves towards divorce that feels good about it. Yeah, no that- one wants to break their vows. And I think some of that, Jill, is the trauma from being in an abusive yes. relationship. Yeah. Yes. It's go. very normal for you to feel you can't take this step because there's the impending doom that's in your head. And yeah. right. it's real trauma. Well, you're going to need a trauma informed therapist mm-hmm. to help you heal and to and to reunite your family in a new way. Because right. everyone, you even mentioned that your dad cut you off 20 years ago. So this Right, is, and your daughters don't talk to you. Right. Why? So it's a family issue. Yeah, and if, if you're praying for peace, but what you really need is courage, mm-hmm. uh, then you need to shift. And so I'm going I, to, well, I'm just going to get you thing. to restore. I want her to go to restore. Yes. And if she can get there, we'll pay her way through restore. Perfect example think, of something that needs it. But go ahead. The Becky. issue also, I think there needs to be a legal separation. You have gone through this process so many times. Totally. But it's, yes. It, you really need that protection in your mm-hmm. life, Joy, so that you can start to build a foundation moving forward. No, no judge will allow you to be cut off if you've been with a guy all this time and there's a right. record mm-hmm. of abuse and all this to allow yourself to be cut off you the second of being cut off you would want to be on the phone with an attorney and so now is the time to get on the phone with an attorney and it's when you start moving out of your comfort zone that many times he gets uncomfortable enough to decide maybe i need to do something in a different way Mm -hmm. i'm glad that you called i'm going to uh I'm going to send you Forgiving Our Fathers and Mothers by Dr. Hubbard because uh, this thing that came up with your dad.